Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Minecraft Bedrock RTX Survival. It has been probably about 9 or 10 months since I've gotten to say that last. <laughs> um, the series took quite a long break. Um, it was kind of an unintentional break, and I kind of figured that the series was over completely. But I decided to bring it back, because I always felt bad about not finishing the series. And this video is pretty much just going to be a world tour and explaining what the series was and what it's going to be now. So, pretty much, this series was supposed to be me playing Minecraft and beating it and doing all that in um, RTX shaders. So, um, that was the goal for it. And I got, I think, 26 episodes in, so, so far it is still the longest running series on my channel. But, I ended it for a while. And now that we're back to it, I have changed my mind on how I want it to go. So originally the plan was to beat Minecraft with the shaders. And now I have decided that instead of beating Minecraft, I just want to finish the builds. Um, my plan was to make... I keep just going back and forth, I should probably just stop doing that. But my plan was to make a little, like, medieval type village. Of course it's kind of turned in, like, that looks more like a western building, that's just a regular Minecraft building. It kind of isn't medieval anymore. So it's going to be a village with mixed styles, I guess. So, uh, yeah. But now the new direction that the series is going to be taking is I'm not going to worry about beating the game or anything like that, mostly because I really hate what the nether is. It's just a soul sand valley and I can't get anywhere. And also I spent, like, an hour or so looking for a nether fortress and just found, like, three bastions. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I really don't want to bother with beating the Ender Dragon or anything, but I want I want to finish the village still, so. Uh, that's what the rest of the series is going to be. Don't know how long it'll take, but I'm going to have fun with it, so. Hopefully you guys enjoy and stick around. So, yeah. Um, here's my house. I spawned somewhere way over there and ended up finding this area. Because I knew that I wanted to do a village like this, but I just didn't know where, so. Glad I found this spot. But here's my house. It's kind of my starter house. I don't know if I'll build anything else. I've got a um, little storage room over here full of random stuff. got my brewing stand that I found at a village, um, my valuables chest, and just all my stuff, a um, bunch of other things. And I have my llamas over here. The frame rates feel a bit weird, but I think that's just because I'm recording. And there's a lot of animals over that way. And so I got my llamas. I have my donkey. Which, for some reason, with th this uh, specific RTX texture pack I'm using, it doesn't have his textures, so I don't know what that's about. But yeah, um, I am using a different um, shaders pack than what I used last time, because I ended up deleting the game and re-downloading it to kind of fix a bug that was happening with me. So I, I ended up losing the shaders pack and I couldn't find it, so I'm now using the Kelly's RTX instead of whichever one I was using last time. So yeah, uh, that's why the windows look a bit different than they did in the previous episode. <laughs> and yeah, so that's the thing that happened. Uh, so here's my mine. Um, for anybody that was around back then, the whole reason why I'm doing a world tour now instead of just jumping straight back into the series is because most of you I don't think were even around for the series. So I wanted to kind of get everyone caught up and all that. But if you were around for the series, you may remember this originally looked horrible. <laughs> Um, it was a completely different building, it went really bad, and I think I just built this off camera and came back and was like, hey, look what I did. So this is my mine, it goes all the way down to, um, level 11, and I'm proud of how the building turned out in the end. And here's my animal barn, and I'm really happy with this one. I think this is the first build that we did after, um, that, unless the barn was the second one. But no, I think this is, like, the first build that we did after my starter house. And it's got pigs, cows, chickens are over here, and sheep over here. And I don't think there's really too much else to it. There's an upstairs, which I was planning on making a storage room. And we have that little, like, hay lift or whatever uh, sticking out that uh, real-life barns have a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I really like how the barn turned out. Uh, this was one of my first times designing a building in creative mode before building it in survival. And I think it really paid off a lot, which is why I'm going to be doing more with this series. Um, I think just about every building here, except for my starter base, I have planned out in creative mode. 
and there's two buildings that I've planned out that have not yet been built, but will soon be built. Um, also, that one needs to be finished. So yeah, that's my barn, my mine shaft. I guess I could show you my farm real quick. Um, one of the first things that we're going to be building back to the series is a um, windmill. It's going to be up on that hill. There yeah, we have carrots, wheat, and potatoes. So it's not really the most impressive thing, but it's here. Um, hopefully these bad frame rates aren't showing up too much on camera because it's kind of wonky right now. Yeah, we'll go over here. And I got a little sugarcane farm thing going on. And this one is a build that I really like. Um, it looked a lot different with the other uh, RTX because it didn't the glass didn't have these borders, so it just looked like a big crystal thing. And uh, this shaders pack does have an option for the glass, but I have to download it, so I'll probably do that before I actually do any more episodes of the series. But yeah, we go down here, and we have the enchantment room. It gets me pretty sure level yeah level thirty enchantments. Um, and it's light enough in here to where nothing will spawn. We have lava, um, under there for some mood lighting. And it looks really cool at night when it's glowing, so I really like this build. Um, then before we get to these two buildings, I want to go this way. Because if I remember right, my nether portal is over here. And I won't be actually going into the nether because nothing has happened there. But I wanted to show you the nether portal room. <laughs> Because if any of you have seen <coughs> my, uh, anything from my first ever Minecraft series, you can see that's the village I spawned next to. It's an abandoned village. But my first ever Minecraft series and first ever, or first couple of videos on the channel in general, um, my starter house in that series was pretty much this. Um, it, it was a lot smaller than this, but same basic design. So I decided to kind of recreate it as a little reference slash easter egg thing in this world and it houses my nether portal so I kinda I wanted to try to make it look a bit destroyed sort of like it was brought here and just left um, we got lava in the middle and then the nether portal glowing and I really like how the red and the purple go together and how it glows and all that so uh, we won't be especially that look how that looks on the stairs that's really cool I love RTX <laughs> But yeah, we won't really be going in here too much during the rest of the series because I don't plan on going to the nether very much. Um, except for maybe a couple of things if I need certain resources. And yeah. So over here is the most recent project that we were working on. Um, it's actually, I think the last episode we took a break from building for a while. And the last episode that I did of the series was called Back to Building and we started building this and it is a church. It's kind of in the style of like a western, like wild west church, so, um, but also not. So, uh, it'll look nice when it's done. I still have to put the roof and the steeple and all the little details in. I didn't even finish the seating right here, but this is the stand where the preacher will be up here and doing his thing, and then the people will be down there watching, and uh, there'll be stuff here for, like, the uh, bookshelves, or not bookshelves, but lectern, that's what they're called. No? Maybe? I don't know. Either way, there'll be stuff in there. <laughs> and that's why some of the sheep in the barn are red, because I'm going to have red carpet. Yeah, so, um, this will be finished, or I will finish this in the next episode of the series. I plan on building, or finishing this, and building the windmill in the next episode. These videos are going to be done a lot differently than they originally were. Um... And there's going to be a lot more happening in each episode. That way we can, you know, get everything done. <coughs> so, yeah. I'm going to try to build at least one building per episode. And I'm not going to make everything too detailed. Uh, I want to sleep real quick before we actually look at that house. But I don't want to make everything too detailed right away. Because in the last, like, episode or two, I'm going to go through and, like, add all kinds of tiny little extra details. And uh, just make it look more alive in the last few episodes, but for now, uh, we're just going to be getting the buildings up and all that. So I wish that I was able to sleep. I feel like I should be able to by now, because of the clock. So, oh, there we go. Okay. So go to sleep. And then we'll go back down. And for the last thing, 
And also, the nether portal used to be over here. Uh, but I covered all that up. I think if we go over here... Uh, it might be this spot, actually. Nope. But somewhere over here... Oh, there's some of it. And let me see if I can actually find the entrance. I think it's still here somewhere. Yep, there it is. So I don't know how safe it is, but... Uh, this was the original spot for the nether portal. You can see I removed the portal and where the lava was. But I didn't like the nether spawn that was over here. So I rebuilt the portal somewhere else, or over where you saw it. And um, I didn't like that spawn much better, but I didn't want to move everything, so... Uh, this is now covered up and just kind of a secret little thing underground. Now, uh, one of the... Or not one of the first, but one of the last things, I guess, that we built before the church is this. And I was planning on getting villagers and having, like, each different type of building be a different thing for villagers. And they'd be stuck in the building and could trade with them and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do the whole villager thing with this, so... Um, one of the things I might do in, like, the detailing episodes is actually build the interior to this. Uh, so there's not much on the inside, but I do like how the outside turned out. It kind of looks more like a westernish thing with a regular uh, blacksmith on the side. Um, and the blacksmith over here has a little grindstone thing that, like, you'd sit on and sharpen the swords. And this to hit the molten metal into swords. And then this will cool them down because there's water in here. Um, I think it's funny that I can do this. <laughs> um, yeah, then we got some blast furnaces. And then the little oven stove lava thingy for heating up the metal. So, yeah. Um, but I think that's just about it. I don't think there's anything else that I would need to <coughs> give a tour on. Uh, we didn't really get too much done in the 26 episodes that there were of the series, but um, we will be getting a lot more done a lot quicker uh, from here on out. So, um, I'm pretty excited that the series is coming back, and hopefully you guys are excited for it too. Um, it, the series will end after the town is done, so um, I'm not going to like continue and try to beat the game or anything like that. I think I mentioned that earlier. But uh, we are going to be just kind of building a nice little village. And I'm pretty excited for it. So, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I won't take up too much more of your time. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did enjoy and you're not subscribed, then uh, subscribing would help out a lot. And it would be very appreciated. I'm trying to get to 250 subscribers by the end of 2022. So... <clears throat> Uh, every subscription counts. And I think in the last video I recorded, I forgot to say that, so. I forgot to say it now. But yeah, um, so if you're excited for the series and you want to subscribe, then help out a lot, and thank you very much if you do. So, um, yeah. Wrap up the video here. <laughs> I'm so bad at ending videos. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.